Oh, a cat. Oh, a cat. Okay, so, once upon a time, there was this cat, and there was this cat. And one day, we got stuck in lockdown together. So, we decided to make a show. And now, it's the House of Cat, season two. Hello friends, I'm Miss Cat, and this is season two of the House of Cat. We are back with a couple of old classics, your friends and mine, the Chaos Cards. But also, along with our classic episodes like Next Big Thing, We've got a couple of new things this series. The first is Paw versus Claw, in which we take on claw machines under a point scoring condition. The second thing is we have the House of Cat Championship, that this will be conducted across the series and resolved by episode 10, we hope, or else it's gonna be the opening of season three saying congratulations, Cass or Cat. How it works. We have a variety of mini games, desktop games, there's some mini golf, there's some arcade games, there's a whole bunch of us mucking about, having fun, scoring points and things, and at the end of the season, the championship trophy will go to either Team Cat or Team Cass. It is the new season, it's season two, and it's time for the next big thing. I'm this cat, I'm on the road to the House of Cat, and I'm the shoot of the next big thing. And I'd like to introduce you to the big disappointment. This, this is the Belcommon Owl. It's literally called the Owl. It is possibly the bigger disappointments in the big things of Canberra, in no small part for the fact that it is a tribute to the powerful owl. Like you've got an owl that's called the powerful owl. You've got an owl that's opening its account with being epic and awesome by having a name, powerful owl, and your tribute statue is owl. I mean, you might as well be calling it Gerald. That's all, you know. Horus. Here is my statue, Horus, of the powerful owl. Second thing is, it's really bloody ordinary. It's like those, you know, you get the Buffalo Bill ice creams that they've got the concept art on the front. It's all 3D and carved and there's texture and there's detail. And then you crack it open and there's just some old shape and lump of marshmallow. that's supposed to be a nose and God knows what's happened to the melting of the eyes and the ice cream. It's just that terrible. Like, there's no texture, there's no detail, there's no... I mean, if I was the owls, I'd be going for just straight up. I'd be just like, hang on, no, nah, listen. I'd be up the parliament going, nah, fellas, this isn't good enough. I mean, that's rubbish. Bloody rubbish, that is. And it's getting judged harshly. It's not up to big things. This is not the next big thing. This is the next big disappointment. I'm this cat, and I'm judgmental because it's cold. And from that, to this. Coming up next, your friends of mine, the Chaos Cards. Greetings friends, welcome to the House of Cat season two, Fortune Teller's Cat. As you can see, I am not this cat, but I am telling your fortune this week. So this is a reading for you, the viewer, 
the week beginning March 6. Let's do a quick little shuffle and riffle and then we will give you your readings coming into the week, during the course of the week and finishing up the week. March 6, beginning the week, we have red exercise due care. Red heralds the falling of night, the ending of days, and the conclusion of things yet undone. Key words. Finality, ending, closure, and silence. Exercise due care, says red. The course of the week, we see red again, all's a balance. Red again, falling of night, ending of days, conclusion of things undone, at balance. And closing out the week of March 6, for you, the viewer, is ooh, a strong portent in the centre. Uh, the centre is amplifier, multiplier, and divider. Clarity is not always an advantage, and uncertainty not always a weakness. Uh, key words for the centre, uh, clarity, emphasis, focus and magnification. And we have a strong portent in the centre. On the whole, looking good, I think. Take that with you into the week and do with it as you will. This has been your Fortune Teller's Cat. From that to this. You're watching The House of Cat. Ooh. Hammer! Paw versus Claw. Round one. The Nudgy Service Center. The rules. Zero points for a miss. One point to touch. Two points for a move. Three points for a grab. Five points for the prize. Round one. Round two. Round three. Round one. <laughs> Round two. And that was The House of Cats. We're back. 
It is season two. That was the first episode. We are looking forward to bringing our brand of whatever it is we do and doing it however it is we do it. Thanks everyone for being part of the show. Big thank you to Cass for coming back for the second season and all the stuff Cass has been doing behind cameras, in front of cameras, beside cameras, throwing things in from off camera. It is thoroughly appreciated and we are on for season two. I am going to throw to a continuity error and also to the closing credits. Hi, I'm this cat and this is behind the scenes of the House of Cat. Fantastical. So how was the House of Cat for you? of cat season two neck or not ear but i do have ears